The protesting lecturers carried placards with different inscriptions around the school premises, chanting solidarity songs to express their displeasure. Students are also supported the union and urged the federal government to do the needful. Addressing journalist, chairman of the union, Stephen Ufuaro, said weeks into their return to work after the eight-month strike due to intervention by the court, the government still refuses to honor the agreement and pay salaries arrears. To some of them in power, we are giving the opportunity to go abroad and study. Yes. Some of them, their parents are peasant farmers who cannot afford their education. Yes. But today they are in the position to make education free. But they are serving our lecturers, they are serving our students. When you stop a lecturer, you have stopped the students. Yes. Now we are asking that government must, as a matter of urgency, implement that agreement, we enter with government, and then release the salaries of our members that have been withheld because the work that we are not done when we are on strike have been done currently as we speak. We are going back to do the work we left before we went on strike and we are doing the work. Addressing the protesters, the Vice Chancellor Charles e. Simone called on the government to, as a matter of urgency, pay up their salaries as they could be consequences for the government's persistent negligence to the plight of the union. And I commended them very strongly for their community, because people are spending hours, sleepless nights, teaching, trying to cover for the eight months that was lost. Some in the process are down in health. A lot of people are falling sick now because of the pressure, trying to meet up with that work that we have not done. So we have not erred in any way. We have done our job and we're still doing our job. We are going to take this message to our employers, the governing council, so that they will in turn also make a strong statement to the government. The government needs to consider the plight of all of us who are here. They need to consider the plight of academics in this nation. Whatever will be done to restore the dignity of academia is in the hands of our government and I know they know what to do. The university teachers are hopeful that the federal government will be in the coming days honor its agreement with the union and pay up the outstanding salaries.